Okay, we're here at 210 Payson Road in Belmont. It's a two-family, it's it's a rental, second and third floor of a two-family. Uh, it's Payson Road, very uh, nice area. You have across the street, uh, the reservoir, good for walking, nice green space. And you do have a little bit of a garden area as well. So we'll walk in. You have separate entrances. Like I said, it's a two-family Philadelphia style. Separate entrances. So you walk in through the stairwell and up into the unit. Lots of great features in this. You have nice high ceilings, uh, nice woodwork, uh, fireplaces. It's, uh, it's, it's really a, a nice open unit, bright unit. Windows have been replaced. So this is all part of the foyer. We'll start with the first bedroom. This is bedroom one, it's, it's on the first floor. You do have three other bedrooms upstairs. Um, if you didn't need a third bedroom, it could be a good office or a den. And then we'll move through the living room here. So a really good sized living room, gigantic fireplace with a, with a beautiful mantle, nice neutral colors leading to the dining room. You do have these nice pocket doors. I'm not sure if they if they operate or not, but nice charm built-ins. The nice crisscross ceiling, plate rail up top. <clears throat> and you can see basically front to back through the whole unit. So we'll head over into this unheated sunroom. The sunroom is is pretty ginormic, ginormous, excuse me, ginormous. Uh, it's, it's the length, it's the width of the house. Um, like I said, it's unheated, but it's, you know, plenty of windows. If you uh, like some indoor outdoor space, you can open up these windows and it would, it's, it's really fantastic. They do have screens. Uh, look at the backyard here. It's a, like I said, it's a terrific neighborhood. <coughs> Heading through the pantry here. So plenty of pantry storage. Kind of walk backwards here so you can see. <clears throat> Lots of pantry storage. <clears throat> then I'll turn around to the kitchen. So kitchen, you have washer dryer, the cabinets are newer. Um, they, they replaced pretty much all the cabinets in here. Uh, electric stove, the heating is oil. Um, and then you do have this portable washer. So basically you just have to bring it over to the sink, hook it up, and then you can move it back wherever you like. Fridge is here. And then you do have a back stairwell, but we'll go up the front stairwell after we see the first floor full bath. So this bath was redone recently. You, you can see nice tile, newer vanity, stand up shower. Okay, and then this is back to where we came up the stairs. And now we will go up to the second floor or the third floor. <clears throat> so nice, nice big hallway up here. Again, terrific ceiling height. Um, I'll just kind of give a little spin here. You have one bathroom on this level, full bath. It's a little bit older than downstairs, but fully functional and full size. We will start with the front facing bedroom, which is probably the biggest. You have two closets, two windows, and then two of the almost pencil windows. This is bedroom number three we're entering. This is probably the smallest of the of the bedrooms. This is a still a really good sized bedroom, probably 12 by 12 by 10. Two closets again. One closet I forgot was this one in the hallway, which is which I always joke is the fifth bedroom. 
It's really big size bedroom, uh, big, big size closet. We saw the bathroom already, so now we're walking to the back of the house. You have these nice built-in uh, built dresser. Another huge hall closet. And then this is the fourth bedroom. So four bedrooms, two baths total. Again, plenty of great light. <clears throat> this bedroom only has one closet, but it does have the, the built-in uh, bureau outside the room. And you do have a view of Boston. I don't know if it's visible now, because it's very, yeah, it's not a good day today, but you do have a view of Boston when it's not so cloudy. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much it for the tour. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thanks, bye.